One thing you can do with chat GPTs is script for illustration applications like Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop. An Illustrator JavaScript wizard is available in the GPTs. It works well. It does require some back and forth. I started by asking it to create a script to make a random Hawaiian shirt pattern. I asked for a tonal pattern that contains recognizable icons. What it created was JavaScript's best attempt at using code to develop Hawaiian shirt graphics, and it was pretty funny. Scripting isn't really for graphics. Scripting is often used for batch file management or shortcutting menu items. I wanted to do something that was graphic so I could visually see what it was capable of. The GPT creates a code. You have to take that into something that can turn it into a JavaScript file. You can use Notepad. I use Visual Studio Code because it gives you the code in a structured format so I can see if anything's wrong. Visual Studio Code can also tell me if something's wrong, saving a step. Once you have a JavaScript file, you have to put the file into the program file for Illustrator in the scripting folder, which requires your computer password. Malakalikimaka is a thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. Next, you open Illustrator, go to scripts, find the new script, and run it. In this case, we were running it for the Hawaiian shirt. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright. And it created this funny graphic. What it thought were waves, palm trees, and hibiscus flowers, if you look and use your imagination, you can see mountains, circles, and gumballs. It's not tonal. They are random because the elements move around if you run the script repeatedly. It used very basic shapes and claimed that it created a swatch, but the swatch didn't work. I said make a pattern, so when you request a pattern, the script GPT will make a swatch of the pattern it creates. The sun to shine by day and all the stars at night. Malakilikimaka is a wise way to say Merry Christmas to you. Malakilikimaka is a thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. All of the elements that it created are vector. They're sizable. You don't have anything that is raster or continuous tone. If you rerun it multiple times, it will generate something completely different using the same elements, mountain waves, circle palm trees, and gumball hibiscus flowers. And for a Hawaiian shirt pattern out of a Python script, this is just pretty funny. Then I started thinking about what kind of scripts I could use, scripts that would be really effective for my workflow. What do I do over and over again that I want to cut down on time? I know, for example, I use the transform menu a lot inside of the effect distort transform transform menus. It is pretty tedious to get to. There's no quick key. What if I create a script that will do the transform very quickly? Inside scripts, you can access the menus that you can't access using actions. Scripting can let you access menus, but it may not allow you to enter individual fields once selected. Once I get into the transform window, I can't update any of the different fields. So I created a distort and transform script that would allow me to put a drop shape and a stroke around whatever I selected, which is a common thing that I use. Here it is being run. The script takes me into the transform menu, adds the stroke, allows me to adjust the modifiers for what I want it to look like, and it's done. Here it is without using the script. I have to add the stroke manually. I have to go to the effect menu, 
go to the distort and transform, and then everything else is basically the same. So the script saves me three or four steps. For fun, I thought I'd run my distort transform script on my Hawaiian shirt pattern script. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green. Scripting in Illustrator should be based on what you do repetitively. If you're working in this space and you see yourself performing some kind of task that uses a lot of menu items, Make a note of what the process is and what the outcome is. Go into your GPTs, use the Illustrator Python scripting GPT that is already developed, and ask it to write you a script for your process. Once you have the script, go into Visual Studio Code or Notepad, update it, save it into the Illustrator scripting folder, and restart Illustrator. You go back and forth, back and forth to build the script. The script, transforming the drop shape with the black stroke, took 28 tries because of the challenges of adding the strokes to the objects and the combined objects. Currently, the script isn't much faster than my manual mode. I need to add additional steps to make the script more effective, like rounding corners, converting to outline, using the Pathfinder tool, and the live text effect. Multiple steps inside of a single script can save a lot of time, and that's what you need to look for in your workflow.